Okay, today's Wednesday, April 24th, and we are doing Eureka Math Module 5, Lesson 7 today. We're taking everything we've learned about volume and putting it into a word problem context, story problem context. So today, our learning goal is I can solve word problems involving the volume of rectangular prisms. This is the last lesson before your mid-module test on Friday. So tomorrow we're going to be doing some review. Um, your mid-module on Friday will cover 5.1 all the way to 5.7. Make sense? Good. Your problem of the day is an example of a word problem involving volume. So let's It says Ren wants to make some rectangular display boxes. Display boxes are just boxes that you use to display stuff. That's why they're called display boxes. Her first display box is six inches long, nine inches wide, and four inches high. What is the volume of the display box? Explain your work using a diagram. Okay, well, of course, the first thing you need to figure out is what is this question asking us to figure out? What is the question asking us to find? Luke? Yeah, we want to know what the volume of the display box is. Good. Rupa, what important information do we need in order to figure out the volume of the display box? Six inches long, nine inches wide, and four inches high. You got it. There's one more piece of important information in this problem that we need to pay attention to. Prisha, what is it? We need to use a diagram. Would a tape diagram be useful here? No. We're talking about three-dimensional objects, like a display box. We probably should draw a three-dimensional drawing. Okay, good. So we know it's a rectangular prism. Let's go ahead and draw that. Is this a complete diagram? No. What's missing? Linear. Good. How long is the display box? Six inches. Good. How wide is the display box? Nine and how tall is it? Four inches. Very good. Okay, I know that I can find the volume by measuring the length times the width times the height. What is six times nine? So the same thing as 54 times four. Okay, I could use standard algorithm or I could break it up using the distributed property. What's four times 50? 200. What's four times four? So what's Four times 54. 260. Good. And that's most of my answer. It's half of my answer. But I need to label the units. What kind of measurements are we measuring the length, the width, and the height in? Inches. 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 So it's going to be some form of inches. But how many inches did we have? We had six inches, nine inches, and four inches. So how many inches did we have? Three. Three. How many dimensions did we have? Three. Three, right? One dimension was six inches. The second dimension was nine inches. And the third dimension is four inches. That's why we call them three-dimensional or 3D objects. When we're talking about measuring the volume of 3D objects, what kind of units do we use? Cubic. So we have 216 cubic inches. Now, Ren wants to put some artwork into three shadow boxes. Those are like picture frames that are 3D that provide some shadow, okay? She knows that they all need to be a volume of 60 cubic inches, but she wants them to all be different. Show three different ways Renz can make these boxes by drawing diagrams and labeling the measurements. Pause for a second. Think to yourself, this is a lot of words. How could you ask this question using your own words? First, what I want you to do is read the problem again silently in your head, then with the people next to you, how could you ask this in a different way using your own words? 